Welcome back, you beautiful fucks. It's me, Danny. That humming in the background is my AC, and I'm not shutting it off because it's hot. I need it. I need the cool air, okay? I'll start sweating. It'll be disgusting and unprofessional. I can't have that. Anyway, so this is Dusty. Jeez. So this is a Diamond Select uh, statue that I had for a few years now, actually. And it is uh, Godzilla 1991? Having a brain fart. Maybe, I think, yeah, 91, I believe. And uh, this is from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. So, whatever year that movie came out, that's what this one is. And it's really cool. It's him splashing out of the water. You have, like, a dock right here. There's a, a, a battleship. And then there's the big man himself. Uh, so, yeah, I've had this for a while. And the reason why I'm showing this is finally what has come in is this. This giant box, which as you can see right here, Godzilla Gallery 91 King Ghidorah. So yeah, it is 91. I was right, okay? So, sorry for yelling. I didn't want to trigger you. Um, but yeah, I finally got this. Like I said, I've had this for so long. And I remember when the Ghidorah came out, I was, I didn't want it, I guess, at the time. Even though I knew about how it can connect together. But as I stated in some previous videos, I'd be kind of on a hunt for these again. And... This one's been coming, becoming harder to find because uh, it's pretty much sold out almost everywhere but eBay and a few other spots, maybe, um, for a, a good price, too. So I managed to find one for a solid price, pretty much retail price, actually. Um, I think it's exactly like 110 bucks. so that's how much I got. So finally happy to have it, and that's why I pulled out this Godzilla because we're going to connect them and see how it looks and if it was worth my time, my money my soul, my emotions, or is it all just going to come crashing down right in front of you guys on camera for your enjoyment? By the way, uh, side note, I'm on the floor right now, as I always am when I record these. At any point I start screaming, it's because a few days ago, there was like a centipede, I think, like one of those little like creepy crawly house bugs, and normally I don't care about them, but this one was particularly really quick, and it went underneath my couch over there. And I have not seen it since. And it was when I was trying to eat, it freaked me out. It was coming right at me. And then it went underneath my sofa. And then now it's, I, I quickly shot up and went to go look underneath. And I couldn't see it. That's how fast it was. Yeah, it probably shot through the sound barrier and it's in a different room, hopefully. But if it comes out of nowhere, um, we're gonna have problems. So let's hope for the best here. Also want to share as a little update, just to pad out the length of this video. I now have Squirtle for this a mega pixelated collection and these are really cool so over there where you can't see I have Charmander and Pikachu which were the two hardest ones to find in my area um, Squirtle was the next one and then obviously Ivysaur is or Bulbasaur sorry Bulbasaur is the last one I need so yeah I have Squirtle now uh, Pikachu Charmander all I need is a Bulba and then I heard they're coming out with Mew and uh eevee so those are pretty cool so if you're into these these are these are cool okay it comes with like a little piece so you can hang it on the wall if you want or this display base uh so i do recommend them they're only like 20 bucks so and they look cool so yeah that's for all you people who enjoy pokemon and for the people who enjoy gundam i just got this build uh this is one i picked up at target i forget the name of it not an expert in Gundams, but I do build them because they're just fun, and this guy was fucking awesome, and I don't show these off all that often, but this is a high grade, and it came with a stand. Um, I hope they start doing that more. I don't know how often, because I, I don't think I've ever had a high grade that has come with a flight stand like this, and it's so simple and easy to build, and I, I like this, okay? Like, I want to see more of these. So I did buy another kit, not of this one, but a different one. I'm hoping that one also has a flight stand. We'll see. But, yeah. So, for all you Gundam people, uh, recommend this build. All right, I'm padded out this, this video long enough. Let's finally open this. So I flipped it over to the bottom because all my personal information's at the top. And I love you guys, but I'm not showing you that. So, we're just gonna shove this beautiful knife. You already know my, my unboxing knife that still needs to be cleaned and hopefully that's not mold <laughs> it's not okay 
I mean, I hope not. I think it's just pencil marking. Someone was drawing. They were, they were doing sketches on the bottom of my box. Let me not cut my finger because I said I might scream in this video, but I don't want it to be because I cut myself. Ugh. All right. Wouldn't it be sad if this is not what I ordered? We should be good, though. Let me, let me put this dangerous tool away. Uh, we'll probably need it, though, in a little bit. Oh, this is about to be a money shot right here. Let's go. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm fucking it up. No, I'm not. Oh, well, yeah, a little bit. The angle wasn't right. There he is. That is the Diamond Select Gallery Diorama, King Ghidorah 91, in case you didn't know. So yeah, this box is great if you like taking up way more room than you need to. And here's the figure on the back. There's some words if you wanna read those. Uh, there's combines with Godzilla 91. What's this say? Gallery Diorama of King Ghidorah is based on his appearance in 91's Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. Whoa, crazy. It is made of high quality PVC and features detailed sculpting and paint details. Designed by Joe Allard. I hope I said that right. Sculpted by George Santos Asauza. I hope I said that right. So, but anyway, I like the artwork on the back. It's really cool, very vibrant. But yeah, there's Ghidorah. Um, I heard that the heads might move a little bit. You can adjust them for when you put them up against the Godzilla. So we'll see if that's true, but it looks pretty cool, but it's gonna look a lot cooler when I stab it with this knife. No, just kidding. It's gonna look good when I take it out of this box. So we'll be back. All right, there he is. Just kidding. Let's, sit, let's get this all situated. This should be easy like Rodan. Uh, let's cut the tape. There it is, yeah. So, very nice. Let me put this knife away before I step on it and cry. And we're just gonna pull Ghidorah out of the packaging and throw the plastic off to the side. And there he is. Wow. Yeah, he looks awesome. <laughs> uh, detail, the paint. Uh, just take a look, the water effect. He has no battleships on his. The scales feel really cool. His wings are like hugging himself, like he's scared. Like how I am sometimes. Let's see if the heads move. Do they? Oh, this head moves. Uh, this head moves. Maybe not this one. Oh, it does move. But yeah, this head's like really like, like really tucked in. So we'll see how it looks when we plug it all in together. Um, and it looks like I have to be careful. One of the little spikes here might, uh, it's soft plastic, so it should be okay for the most part, but might hit. I don't want it to break, but yeah, this looks really good. Paint's pretty good. Um, let me look. There's a little bit of splotching of black paint around the eyes, uh, but it's not terrible. Has some eyeliner, okay? He's he's in that phase of his life. So, I was curious to see how it looks on its own, and it seems like, you know, despite it being leaned forward with no base over on this half, most of the weight is back here, which means it holds pretty good. So it's not a bad statue on its own. But I got it because I want to see it with the other half here. Which I have to see how it all plugs in. If there even is like a specific way. So let's figure this out together. Um, I guess it's kind of, is it? Stand by. How does this work? I guess you could just do it like that. I'm finagling this on camera. Again, this is the first time for me. All right, I'm nervous. Okay. So, I think that's how it's supposed to kind of look. And um, it's not bad if you ask me. So, there, I don't know if, again, if there's like a specific way. I'm assuming this is the front because of the ship and the dock that's right here. That's how it's supposed to look. Um, maybe there's a better way to kind of pose because Godzilla doesn't articulate at all, but the heads can kind of move so you can adjust that. So maybe there's a different way to kind of position the heads 
get it to look maybe a little bit nicer. But this is still not bad. I just want to see how I can maybe get this to look a little bit better over here. Because, again, this head is just so tilted. But his hand's here, so maybe there's a way to kind of get it situated. But yeah, this is a nice piece. And it looks pretty cool all together. Now, it, it takes up a good amount of space, too. So if we look at it from the side. All right, there it is. So, but that's all right. Because it, it earns its space. So, yeah, this is awesome. I'm happy with this, which makes me excited for the other diorama I'm working on, which will be the next one I pick up, which is the one for Rodan, which I already have. I just need the Godzilla. So, um, you'll definitely see a video of me unboxing that when I get it. But uh, the only thing left I had to complete this water fight scene is the water turtle himself, Squirtle. So, there it goes. Everything, this is complete. All right. This is going in the bathroom, all three of these. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all take care, and I'll see you all next time.